you. Thank you very much for that uh, reception there. In four weeks' time, at the general election, people face a big choice here in the North East. You can vote for more of the same failure, or you can vote for real change. The choice is between three old establishment parties that want to carry on with business as usual, or UKIP that wants real change to the problems that we face with common sense policy solutions. We need strong MPs who will stand up for this region and for hard-working people. Most people feel left behind and ignored by the old parties out of touch, yes men. Only UKIP offers the people of the North East hope for a better future. Today, I want to set out my campaign themes. A fair economy, protecting our NHS, and controlled immigration. This coalition government has failed on the economy. The national debt has doubled in five years from £850 billion to £1.5 trillion. This government has borrowed more in five years than the last Labour government did in 13 years. And UKIP's solution to this is to move away from a debt-fueled economy to a fair economy. I'm arguing for business rate cuts to get shops and jobs to Hartlepool so that we can cut unemployment. We are saying no tax on the minimum wage. We will raise the income tax threshold to £13,000. UKIP are the only party that is arguing to cut the vanity projects and instead spend the money on the vital frontline services that we need. Some of these vanity projects, £42 billion on HS2, £9 billion on foreign aid, £10 billion on our EU contributions, £5 billion on the Barnett formula. We're saying get rid of those and spend the money on what really matters, our frontline services, our NHS, our armed forces, the police and the fire services. Tony Blair's Labour Party started the privatisation of the NHS. With the NHS Act of 2006, which brought more competition and private, private involvement in the health service. PFI, which is costing us £300 million in repayments and foundation hospitals. And now you have Cameron's Conservatives carrying on by putting more services out to private tender. We in UKIP totally reject privatisation. We want the NHS in public hands and free at the point of use. We will argue for local hospital services, as I have done in Hartlepool. It is a scandal that a town the size of Hartlepool doesn't have its own hospital services in full, and I will fight to get them back. UKIP believes in a local NHS, not the failed regional model argued for by the three old parties. We will fight to scrap hospital car parking charges. We will fight to end health tourism, because we in UKIP, unlike the other parties, think we should have a national health service, not an international health service. One of the big concerns people have, and certainly one that is very often raised with me on the doorstep in Hartlepool, is immigration. We have had immigration chaos under this government and the last government. Under Labour, immigration was 252,000. Under the Tories, it's now at 298,000. This is too many people coming into the country. What we in UKIP are saying is that immigration has got to be controlled. We will bring in an Australian points based system that treats everyone the same, everyone fairly, everyone equally. It judges each individual on their own individual skills and talents. And we would have a more managed level of immigration of between 20 and 50,000. UKIP is the only party in this election campaign that is offering real change. We are standing up for hard-working people with common-sense policies. The choice in Hartlepool 
like in many other parts of the Northeast, is clear. The Tories and Liberals are in retreat. It is a two-horse race between UKIP and Labour. We will be a strong voice for the North East. We will fight for a fair economy, to protect our NHS and control immigration. UKIP MPs in the North East will deliver a stronger North East and a fairer Britain. Thank you.